YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's another episode of Questions from Subs where you can ask me any question you want and we answer it in a video like this. If you want to be part of it, you can send me an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com or for the patrons. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. You can send it directly on Patreon. If you want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravingvids. And if you don't, that's fine as well. I'm going to still love you regardless. Team Keep It Clean, we got some fire questions like we do every single time. Let's do it. First question, and shout out to my guy Harry for being a patron. He said, how are you doing engraving in the Team Keep It Clean family? So I love that. He ain't just asked how I'm doing. We good, by the way. But he asked how y'all are doing, too. And I hope all of y'all are doing really good, despite the Ravens not doing so good. I hope all y'all are doing good. Anyway. He said, after this season, I'm pretty sure me and all true Ravens fans are hoping for major changes. I was actually thinking about trading Harbaugh to the Bears for draft picks and getting an offensive-minded head coach like Eric Bieniemy, Josh McDaniels, or Byron Leftwich. I think we need to change with the times, and this will be a good way. What's your opinion on that? I do agree that things need to be changed. Um, I, I think with the Ravens, I think their just entire philosophy needs to be changed. The way they go about things, it needs to be changed changed um with and just to go piece by piece um offense th this is the biggest thing because i know ravens their mo from jump what they started with run the ball play good defense run the ball play good defense that has been them that's been their thing oh it starts with the running game but we got to understand that we have a Rashad Bateman, we got a Hollywood, we even got a Watkins, we got Proche, we got Tylen Wallace, Duvernay, you got Boykin. Too. Like, you have some receivers that are capable. They got to air this thing out. They got to air this thing out. They have to change the philosophy, man. And I know a lot of times Ravens, when everybody's zagging, they want to zig or vice versa or whatever. But it, it's, it's time, man. It's time to get with this because you have something. Sp I do not want to see Lamar Jackson wasted. I don't want to see him wasted. Don't want to see these receivers wasted. You got Mark Andrews. You got one of the best tight ends in the league. And he gets used a lot. Oh, dude, trust me. We, we can see that. Him over here breaking all these records and whatnot. But it's time for Ravens to change this thing up. Now, I know a lot of people, whenever you talk about the possibility of the Ravens moving on from Greg Roman, a lot of Ravens fans get a little scared by that. They get a little intimidated. They're like, oh. But what about our running game? What's going to happen to our run game? And why is it that's, that's the only thing that a lot of Ravens fans question when it comes to moving on from Greg Roman, the run game? They don't say, oh, but what about our pass game? They never say that. They say, oh, but what about our run game? Something to think about. You mean to tell me that if the Ravens moved on from a Greg Roman and they still had Lamar Jackson, they have a, a healthy Lamar Jackson. They have a healthy J.K. and a healthy Gus Edwards and whoever their other running backs are going to be. They still have Nick Boyle. He's on the contract for, I believe, one more year. They fix up and get a healthy offensive line. Like, you really think that the running game is going to go anywhere? It may look a little bit different. Because, you know, Greg Roman, he can come up with some fire concepts with the, with the run game. But you, you really think the run game is really going to go anywhere? Think seriously, think about that. The Ravens have always been able to run the ball, and this was before Greg Roman, and it's been after Greg Roman. I think there was just one year where they were struggling big time. I think it was uh 2013, maybe, where they struggled to run the ball. But recently, besides that, they've they've been able to run that football. And in 2015, I mean, that's like ooh, yikes. And, and, and this year with the run game, I know it's been a wash. The, the run game has been a wash this year, but you don't have a healthy Lamar. You don't have a J.K. or Gus Edwards either. Your offensive line is beat, beat up, battered, bruised, all that good stuff. So the run game this year hasn't been what it should be. But if they were to move off of Greg Roman, the run game would be just fine. But that's not the concern for me. The concern for me is the pass game. That, that's a big concern for me. It's the passing game. And the Ravens need to get with the times. They need to be able to take advantage of Lamar Jackson, his skill set. They need to take advantage of their wide receiver skill set. And, and a big thing with that 
just a, a lot of the decisions that are made, they, 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 they baffle us. They're very concerning. One of the biggest ways that they're concerning is the use of Pat Ricard. Why is Pat Ricard out there more than a lot of receivers and even on passing plays? It, it, it's just uh, there's so many times when the Ravens that we always talk about and we, people have been talking about it for forever. And Lamar Jackson even talked about it last year publicly. Who knows what he said privately? If he said that publicly, who knows what he said privately? But anyway, um, how the Ravens offense is predictable. People know what's coming. And it, it's true. And, and not that every single play is going to be, oh, whoa, surprise. I didn't see that happening. I didn't see that coming. But if there's certain personnel that get put out there. You just, as a fan, you know, and if we as fans, if we know, you know those coaches on the opposite end of the Ravens, they know too. Um, Ravens, they, with their run game, um, well, not even the, the run game, but with Pat Ricard, that, that's a big example. They bring out these sets with Pat Ricard, with Eric Tomlinson, Boyle, they, they, those are the big three. Those are the big three, and, and when those big three are on the field, you know about 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you know what's going down. You know what's happening. But I, I just, my, my thing is not even with that, not, not even just with the, the, the personnel on in, in them different sets and whatever, but it's the usage of our weapons and the lack of usage of our weapons. Because I just, I'm very fearful that uh, we're going to have more Antoine Wesley situations. Remember, he was on our practice squad for a while. He was there. Ravens signed him as a rookie undrafted free agent. Uh, and But at the same time, it was like Ravens always had all these receiver problems. They always had all these receiver problems. Then you see him go out there to the Cardinals. He's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. Um, and with... With Rashad Bateman, you got a Rashad like you got a Bateman, you 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 got a Hollywood, you 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 have some guys that can really do some stuff, but how are you going to use them? This is another thing that also concerns me. I, I just feel like the players, I, I just feel like with with Greg Roman, if if they retain Greg Roman, then I, I almost feel like to not really expect much change. And even to a certain extent, John Harbaugh. And I know that that's a very touchy conversation for a lot of Ravens fans. He's like, John Harbaugh, Super Bowl winning coach. and da, 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 da. Understand that, respect John Harbaugh, love everything that he's done for the team. But sometimes it just, it seems as if he has almost run his course. And that's not even just with this year with all the injuries. Yeah, we know the whole team been injured. There's been the COVID too. Get that. I get it, but it, it just seems as if it's, it's going to be a lot of the same stuff if this whole thing continues. Now, I, I heard somebody, somebody had a great example. I forgot who it was, and, but they compared it to Mike McCarthy in, um, in Green Bay. Like Mike McCarthy, it ain't like he was a bad coach or anything like that. But he, and he even won a Super Bowl with the Packers. But the time had come and he had just ran his course. That was that. And with, with Harbaugh, I feel like with, with him, I just feel like he won't be willing to make those big changes. Those, those, those big changes to really shift this team and take them to the next level offensively. And I know he, he's a special teams coach. I know a lot of people say, oh, he don't know anything about X's and O's, da 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 but He's a great motivator, though. He's a great leader. He, the, the team really rallies behind him, and, and he, he, he is those things, and he gets that, these teams to fight. This season has been another great example where he gets these teams to fight. Oh, with all these injuries and all that, all the people out on the COVID list and all that, a lot of these Ravens games, they should have been blowouts, but nope. Well, only the Bengals game was. The Bengals games were. But <laughs> other than that, it ain't been no blowouts. It ain't been blowouts because this team, they, they fight for hardball. They fight for him. And no matter what side of the, the, the hardball fence you on, you cannot deny that these teams, these Ravens, they, they fight for hardball. They love him. He's a player's coach. They love him. And he, um, and, and even you, you go back to 2015 too. Look, that, that's the same thing, a bunch of injuries and whatnot, but they fought. They fought so hard for him. But it, it just seems as if the Ravens, they just keep coming up short. 
And I don't, I don't expect him to win a Super Bowl every single year. I don't. But it just seems as if change, it, it, change would not be a bad thing. And can, is it possible that Harbaugh gets replaced? Is it possible that another head coach could be a leader too? Is it possible that another head coach could be a player's coach? Is it possible that another head coach could, could really get the best out of their guys? Is that possible that a, the, another head coach could, could lead a, a group of men together and, and, and have them advance, especially on offense? Is it, is it possible? Yes, it is. Because I know a lot of people's argument too. Oh, man. For all you people that are saying to get rid of Harbaugh, who would you replace him with? There's options out there. There's people out there. Harbaugh is not the end-all, be-all. He has done his thing with the Ravens. Loved it. He's done his thing with the Ravens. All the playoff victories, well, early on, from 2008 to 2012. All those playoff victories and, of course, the AFC championships. And then, of course, 2012 season, the Super Bowl. Awesome. But ever since then, I think the Ravens, they got the, the, the playoff victory in 2014 against the Steelers. Um, and then, do, 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 do. then yeah, then Lamar's first one uh, last year against the Titans. And that's been it. That's been it. And they've had some talented teams, but a lot of those years, they just come up short. They come up short. They come up short. And now, excuse me, what I'm very afraid of is... If the Ravens, um, I'm, I'm just very afraid of how they'll handle Lamar, and how because this ain't just this ain't just no normal quarterback. This ain't just your, your, your average quarterback. It's it's not. Does Lamar have some 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 things that he needs to improve on? Yes, for sure. Yes, he certainly does, for sure. He got plenty of things that he needs to improve on in his game to really take him to the next level. But who's going to set him up for him to get to the next level that's there right now? Who's that, who's, who's that going to be? Who has that power and that, that, that authority over Lamar to where they're really going to move him to being great? Who? 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 And another thing, too, with the whole philosophy is just is very concerning because and we've talked about this before. I just feel like with the Ravens, with the, the, the hirings and stuff. And, and, and that's why I say with with Harbaugh, if, if Harbaugh still remains, Harbaugh, he probably ain't going to go nowhere. I don't expect him to. I, I don't think he will. Crazier things have happened before now, because remember with um, I think John Fox, when he was the. Uh, the coach of first, he was coach of the Bears. Then he was the coach of the uh, the the Broncos, I believe. Got to the Super Bowl, got beat down, got fired. Like who who fires their coach after you get you got to the Super Bowl with him? Like that's crazy, or is it? Because they they saw that they had the players in place, they saw that they had a team, but they said John Fox, no, nah, you you ain't it. This is why when when I know there's some people that say, oh, if if Harbaugh was to go. If Harbaugh was to get fired or whatnot, if anything happened to Harbaugh with the Ravens, then the Ravens, they will fall apart. I don't believe that. I, I really don't. I really don't. And that's not a, a slight to Harbaugh at all, but that's just more so you look at this team, you look at this roster. Look what they have. Harbaugh, he, he walked into a really good situation. Having like an air read and <laughs> Ray Lewis. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, wow. But he walked into a great situation, and then he added to it. He drafted a Joe Flacco. He drafted Ray Rice. He drafted Torrey Smith. They brought over Anquan Bolden. They, they did all these things, Dennis Pitt, and all that stuff. So he walked into a really good situation, but he made it even better. If anything were to happen with Harbaugh, where he wasn't the Ravens head coach anymore, and they got somebody new, they would be walking into a good situation. You have a Lamar Jackson, you got a J.K. Dobbins, you got a Gus Edwards, you got a Mark Andrews, you got a Ronnie Stanley, you possibly even got a Jawan James. You got, well, you might have Bradley Bozeman, we'll see, he might move on, but you got, I don't have to go down a list of players on offense, defense, both sides of the ball. We don't have to do that, but, because y'all know, but if somebody took over this team, they would have a really good group of players, a really good group. 
So for somebody to come to this team and fail, it, it, I feel like it would be harder for somebody to take over this team and fail rather than it would be for them to succeed. But like the, the Ravens philosophy it has got to change. It, it has to. It has to or else it's going to be the same old stuff. It is going to be the same old stuff. A big tell for the Ravens this offseason will be what they do with Greg Roman. But again, even if they move off from Greg Roman, I'm just worried that Harbaugh is just going to bring in some more of the same. So a, a, a guy that has peaked. That's what I'm worried about. They're going to bring in a guy that has already peaked. A guy that's already been a head coach and just failed miserably at it. A guy that's not getting no more higher opportunities than to be an offensive coordinator for the Ravens. I'm going to get somebody that's peaked already. And when you get those guys that are peaked already, you're not really trying to advance. You're not trying to advance your team as much as we would hope you would be. We go to the defensive side of the ball. This scheme... Uh, wing scheme it, And it's tough with, with him um, I feel like with him It all depends on what you want With this scheme It asks the players to do so much To where they, they don't specialize in anything They don't They're jack of all trades and masters of absolutely nothing In this scheme they can't eat. They can't feast like that. They have to do this, that, and the third. And when you have to do this, that, and the third, and you got to do so many different things, then that, that slows down the way that you think. So that slows down the way that you play. When, when, when you play more comfortable, when you're more comfortable in something, you'll think faster, you'll react faster, you'll react quicker. you make better decisions, quicker decisions, but also good decisions. So with, with, with that being said, I just... With Wink, the, the scheme, again, we, we talked about this a couple of days ago with the, as far as the pass rushes. We, 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 we always wonder, like, man, why don't, why the Ravens still having so much trouble getting to the quarterback? Why? And I know so many fans have looked, they've been like, oh, look at Yannick Ngakwe, leading the league in pressures. Look at Matt Judon, who's one of the league leaders in sacks. Look at Zadarius Smith when he was healthy. Went out, did his thing. And it's like, man, we, we, we look at that stuff and it's like, why not us? This is why with Matt Judon, he, a, a, a lot of Ravens fans didn't feel like he was all that. But Matt Judon, he probably deserves a lot more credit as, as a good player than a lot of Ravens fans gave him. Including myself. Because for him to be able to scratch and claw and get nine and a half sacks in this scheme, whew, that's unheard of. And to, for him to do that in 16 games, we, we, we getting ready to play a 17th game. And I think our, our sack leader is like, uh, I think Bowser with like six sacks. And maybe after the last game he got seven, I don't even remember. But it's something like that. And that's after 16 games. And I think he did, he might have missed a game due to injury or COVID or something like that. But still. And Matt Judon, I know that there were some times where he would just, he would rack up sacks against some bad teams. So even he would struggle to, to really consistently be like that as a pass rusher with the Ravens scheme. Because it's tough. It's tough. Because the pass rushers, they can't just rush the passer. Raven, we, 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 we continue to have these conversations. Man, we cannot get to the quarterback. Why can't we get to the quarterback? And we even, like, there will be these games where it's like, the, oh, all right, we're going up against, like, the, the week one. The Raiders' offensive line, uh, they were missing so many starters along their offensive line. So going into that game, I'm thinking, ooh, ooh these boys about to eat. Nope. Wrong. Wrong. It didn't. It's like with the pass rush, they can't take advantage of bad offensive lines. Uh, they can't consistently do it. Because they, they'll have some games where they do it. Like, I mean, the, the last one that, I could, that comes to my mind is um, – Last year against Joe Burrow when he was a rookie, too. So that, that has something to do with it. But last year against Joe Burrow, I, I saw somebody say one time, and then it made me think, like, hold up, wow. 
They were like, with Wink's scheme, the only time that you see him consistently get good pass rush, the only quarterbacks that struggle against his scheme are the, the young, inexperienced quarterbacks. And I was like, whoa, hold up now. And I really had to think about that. Now, to, to really dive into that, I would really have to just look at every single game over the past couple of years. But it's just something to think about. I was like, hmm, interesting. But so much with, the, the, just again, the philosophies of the Ravens, they have to change. They, they got to get with the times. They, 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 they got to upgrade this thing. Because you, you have the, the, the potential is there in your players. Man. It's there. You have so much potential, but it's, it's, it's all going to go to waste if you continue to do the same thing over and over and over. You want to be this running team, and that's your primary goal, oh, run the ball well and play good defense. Okay, cool. It's only going to get you so far. You got to air this thing out. You have to. You have to. Because if you don't, it's going to be the same results. It's going to be. And just because you decide you want to air out the ball, it does not mean that you stop running. It does not mean that you won't be able to run. It just means that you'll have not even necessarily balance, but you'll have options. You'll have better options. You know Lamar can throw the ball. That's old news. We've been through that. You got to let him de de develop this scheme to where – the, these players like they like they really like out there running some routes and they timing routes that's something that I would love to see the Ravens incorporate with Lamar Jackson I would love love to see that to where Lamar will throw the ball in a spot where the receiver's supposed to be before they're even there finally did a little bit with, with Bateman but I, I would love to see that incorporated a lot more I would love to see it more up-tempo offense, more of a quick, fast-paced offense with Lamardo. We've seen it sometimes with Tyler Huntley, with Josh Johnson, even in his first uh, couple of drives we saw it. But for some reason with Lamar, they just, it doesn't get done. I just, I, I, I don't understand, like, why, man. Well, I do understand why, because of the people who are in place, but Something's got to give, man. Their, their, their mentality with this team, their mentality with these players, their, their MO, especially offensively, especially offensively, it has got to change. It's got to. Ravens are so outdated with their way of thinking. They are very outdated. And it, 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 it's, very, it's, it's time for them to, to move forward. Instead of, don't be stubborn. Stop being stubborn. Be willing to adjust. And we know that that's been a big word that a lot of us have been using all year. Adjust. And there's been a lack of adjusting. A lack of adjustments. But Ravens, they, they cannot be stubborn with this thing, man. They cannot be stubborn. If they're stubborn, then they're going to get the same results. Same results. It might look a little prettier next year when people are healthy. But it's going to be a lot of the same results. So many of the same results. So, I, um... I'm, I'm just, I'm hoping that something changes, but my, uh, my hope is high, but my expectations are low.